And guys, on top of that, we can use this in our advantage. Every tweet you can say how vile Liam fans are and we can victimize ourselves. Okay, talk about Hore. Okay, they say Mbumi is dirty because of her color. Yeah, they're so colorist. Liam fans are so colorist kind of things. Like we can use this in our advantage. Think about it. Guys, every time when you do victimize yourself how post that victimize yourself and then that we can use it in our advantage at this point it is safe to say that the game is gaming even in and outside the house because fans are playing it and the house are also playing it hey babies and how are you all doing Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosli Mimi, where you get a gist. I see they do waiting. I see they heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly post right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. So, guys, um, first off, I just posted the first video where Liema, Jared, and Mpumi was trying to choke us. Now I am done with that part. Let's just about other parts that happened because, yes, conversation, yeah, but like it was too much convo last night. First off, um, Yolanda is indeed a case. She was busy begging, what was his name again? Taki, you know, <laughs> his food, his meat. Taki insisted on not giving him. Ah, sorry. She was begging, begging, and said, you cannot even give me a tiny piece. Taki refused, though, because she was, Yolanda was wasted. She was drunk, you know. Taki refused. And then people were like, Yolanda has seen another reason she would nominate Taki with. That she would be like, I nominate Taki. That boy refused to even give me from his food. <laughs> wow, well, how like bicycle. Anyways, as Taki refused to give her, she left. And then the young papi and the people sitting on the table, they had to talk about her a little. You know how it goes in the house now. So guys, still talking about Yolanda here. So Yolanda said, um, Yolanda was having like a... I would like put it words with Papa Ghost. She was telling Papa Ghost that if I were you, I would just use my hand and put myself up because my hair is untidy, blah, 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 you know. And then Papa Ghost was like, you, you are up. Then you'll be shaking on Sunday. And then Yolanda was like, yes, I'll be shaking on Sunday and I will unshake on Sunday too. You think you are the only one big brother likes? So I'm like, yo. <laughs> because Yolanda is of the notion that big brother likes um Papa Ghost and to for big brother to bring them back to the house my keke was like asking yolanda i thought you'd like papa ghost and she was like yes i like him but he is dead to me he left the house and he came back big brother favored them big brother liked those like them that's why he had to bring them back you know and then yolanda was telling um, my keke that my keke needs to be very careful of papa ghost that they are trying to use him but then my keke was like you too uh, no Yolanda was like, Papa Ghost doesn't like you. That they're just trying to, you know, ride over you, blah, blah, blah. And then Makeke was like, you too, you do not like me now. And Yolanda was like, yes, I do not like you, no problem. But that's why I'm telling you that these two are actually trying to use you to their own advantage, you know. And then, um, I don't know, but it may seem as though Papa Ghost and the Ratu is still really sitting very hot on this housemate's head. One thing with Yolanda, when she... On Thursday night, she would actually drink her sorrow away. And then, I think maybe on Thursdays or whenever she gets tipsy, she likes kissing Lema because she did kiss her again. And Lema was like, yeah, Yolanda, leave me. I'm your niece. Leave me, leave me, leave me. You know? Now, talking about um, Papa Goose, let's go back to the gist. It may seem as though Lerato is operating more than Papa Ghost is. Yes. I don't know about you, but to me, I think Lerato is operating more because the camera ensued on her talking to Els and... um. Mile, whatever the conversation was really i am not sure of you know but it was just like they are negotiating and then Mile was like oh no you land um, um lerato thank you it's fine you know and i remember she said she is gonna make Mile go to um go towards papa ghost as their game plan knowing that fully whether Mile likes papa ghost do not forget papa ghost said he already has Mile phone number offhand like 
he can mention hey <laughs> that Mile gave um him her phone number. Now Mile and Else, these two, you know, these two are trying to be bursty more than even Mpumi and Else. So these two were together and they are kind of bothered. After they have that conversation with Lerato, you know, they were kind of bothered, you know, and they were just discussing what they were saying is we just have to make this work. You know, camera would not follow them accordingly for us to see whatever the conversation they are having is, you know. So um Mile was just lamenting of babe we just have to make this work we really need to make this work you know she was lamenting or we need to you know whatever it takes and then else was like yes we will make it work because me i don't want to go home i'm like wait is it this two trying to negotiate or maybe accept whatever Lerato told them or is it is it a game plan on its own that they have because the camera did not let us see whatever the conversation is all about. But talking about game plan already, I have noticed Mile is trying to move in a different kind of way because they have known her as that calm person and now she's trying to, you know, move in swiftly to another point like trying to cooperate like she tried to operate this dude um last night. What was his name? Sinaye last night you know so now i think maybe that is the plan for them i don't know but Mile, i said Mili l said she doesn't want to go home that she, they must make it work with, by fire by force so let's watch them and see what they're trying or going to make work or whatever that is not going to work we would see from this too so we just have to watch out from else and Mile. talking about else else is so worried like so so worried about this eviction like they don't know what it has for them i can't wait for sunday so that they would see that everybody is free now talking about sunday yeah it may seem as though it's not just else that this is getting into because mark jr was also bothered like at the far end he was having conversation with taki you know he was like that imagine that him and taki do not have a say right now in this house that they cannot even know if they are strong or they are not strong because the only time they were up he saved Taki. The only time he was up, Taki saved him. So now they cannot say, hey, yes, that they are safe, that they are strong. That like him, if he's standing with them, Lerato Papa goes, that he is gonna be scared because he thinks they are stronger than him because these ones have been saved countless times. And now it not happened this week, they are just free. They are not even up. That's they do he do not even understand this gameplay, though it is big brother house, big brother rules, right? But having them not come on Monday so that they would be nominated because they know that if they had been in the house on Monday before nomination, the housemates would nominate them back to back, you know? So having them come into the house on Tuesday actually means a lot that they just want to give them a pass week, a free pass week this, you know, this week so that they will not be nominated. And now, um, what was his name? Mark Jr. was like, he do not know the privilege they had to do it, you know, but they cannot question Big Brother, you know, but it is what it is. So they are so scared because they do not know. Because he said, it may seem as though their gameplay is perfectly working for them. That how he himself and Taki you know if their own way in the house is working for the viewers, if the viewers really do like them. Even while they were having the conversation, they actually spoke, I think it's about Makeke. Mark Jr. was like, he's going to be careful where Makeke is henceforth because he notices that he oversteps boundaries like he do not know when to cross boundaries and now he's gonna be a bit careful you know they did not mention me but they were just pointing at the beds right i hope i'm not mistaken yeah so while they were having that conversation Liema came to join them in that convo after she had finished operating you know in the bathroom with Mpumi and Jared so when she came to join them she noticed that they were kind of looking at how it is then you know like mm, you know that kind of a thing this girl like the looks on Taki and Mark Jr's face was that this girl you don't know your words so you don't even know your words that is the look but um Liema was like feeling like she's feeling guilty like she did something wrong she was like guys are you guys are you guys okay are you guys good and they were like yes we are are you good and she said oh yes i'm good oh my i'm not drunk oh i'm not drunk mark jr was like but i don't think you are not drunk though i know when you're drunk you don't look like you're drunk but at the same time it's like you're drunk <laughs> oh my god i think why he was saying that was because of what happened in the bathroom you know <laughs> anyways that word aside that was satire my time me so much now talking about what happened in the bathroom so you saw the, the um the voice notes that was from Mpumi's fans uh, um, WhatsApp group, you know. Um, the Lilies, as in Liema fans, were like, Lake Gent and Lee Flames, come and list, you know. They want to use us to shine, you know. Mpu fans are very sick. Meanwhile, Liema fans, how many names do you guys have? Lilies, Lee Gent, 
leaf flames. I have seen Liema talk about leaf flames so much. Anyways, that aside, so um, they were like, the booby fans are like, they can act the victim right now, you know, because they were calling Mpumi name like, that Pumi is um dirty because of her skin color that she doesn't bait. That thing that Lerato has been saying that housemates that do not bait to give her food, uh -huh. they are putting it on Mpumi right now. So the friends are like they are gonna use everything to their own advantage, you know. So, anyways, guys, um then they are like, ah, with whatever that is happening within Liema and others that they are gonna use it to their own advantage. Meanwhile, someone was already saying that Chuenza had a conversation and was like, Mpum um, what was in her name? Jared and um, this girl, Liema, was having their bets. How that thing happened last night, the drama that happened. You know that Liema and Jared were having their bet. Then Mpumi came there to join them and start off immediately, start kissing Liema. And knowing that she is drunk, you know, she would just play accordingly. But to me, I'm like, this is not an excuse. This is really not an excuse because I have seen them. This is not their first time of kissing. I have seen them kiss before, not once and not twice. The reason this last night's own sounds so different was because it is more intense than other ones. Other ones look more like a peck, you know. The last night own is more intense, like deep tongue and all, ah, yuck, you know, and everything. So it's just different. And it, it happened in the bathroom where they're both naked, like the three of them together. So that's why that one actually make it look like it's a different thingy. But not like they've not been doing that one or two twice before anyways guys um yes talking about um sheep's jerry papi and them z they are back you know yesterday they were beefing each other they were carrying face you know z was carrying face for papi so these two they also did operate at night you know they did their kissing thingy we know they do it already and meanwhile um this guy was his name sinaye he may seem as though sinai wants to try you know having a deep thing with Milei. You know, may seem as though the reason people said Sinai is sending Taki to Liema is because he really wants Mile is true. Because last night, while Papi and um, Z was at their own corner, that is Z's bed, doing their thingy, Sinai came to meet Mile and they were having their own conversation, you know. So it's just giving <clears throat> fuck and play the game with their various angles. They are just doing their thingy. So it may seem as though Mile plan with else is just to make sure that she will start operating on Sinai just to make sure that she is seen in the house. Because I know people telling her, we do not remember you, we do not remember you will be getting to her. Meanwhile, Young Papi and Z coming back is actually getting to Z fans yet again. But I told you guys one thing that you guys, Z and Lema fans, you guys just have to ignore whatever those your faves are doing and just play the game. Z is even even helping you guys more than Lema. Lema, ah, she's more than you guys left, right and center. Your, um, the problem with Z fans is they don't want Young Papi with Z. But you cannot change whatever game your faves have decided to play. Same thing with Liema stands. The only thing you have to do for your fave is vote them when they are up. That is just it. Anyways, guys. I think in summary, I've literally said the whole things that happened last night after pool party. So in that vein, I'll be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.